we get to eat? Hardee's. Uh, no, we're not doing Hardee's. Uh, that's the only thing uh, we'll eat. Yeah. Okay. Did Temporarily closed. I, I want my biscuits. I was promised Hardy's biscuits. I'm about to I'm about to download the Dag of Hardy's app. Start new order. Find your closest Hardy's nearby. 200 feet that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I clicked nearby and then no restaurants available. Y'all still the uh, double cheeseburger biscuit? Yeah, I want. I need four of those. Ooh, card. Yeah, I'm not gonna fill it up here because um, I need to put my kids in college. Eight gallons will get us to Bardstown. I think gas is cheaper there. Hey, when you're standing outside and there's no hope of getting inside a Hardy, and someone named uh, Felicia <laughs> comes and opens up the door, you 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 uh you make room. Get get it. Go get it. So you, we go pick whiskey. We have a kind of a set guideline we go for. You know, we Bob and I agree that if he likes it and I like it, it's pretty damn good. Because his palate isn't really that good, but <laughs> sorry Bob. Nah, but we so if you find a picker, a store that has a picker, whether they work there, they help, or whatever, if you like their picks, you're probably gonna like all their picks. Different groups have the opportunity to come on site or you could be mailed some samples, but that's not as fun. We're going on site today. Yeah, I mean. To pick out of a certain amount of barrels. And so in theory, that group is picking the best option out of those single barrels. And sometimes you can get you know, some super unique off profile stuff. And then that's how you select it. Now, if we pick something off profile from what we normally do, we let people know. We're about to do a daggum pick here at Four Roses. Oh, yeah! Y'all gonna do that without having a bite to eat first? I just, I just burped a double cheeseburger biscuit. All right, we going? Yeah. yeah. I'm here to chew bubble gum and pick whiskey. Fresh out of bubble gum. So I like to do just nosing first and make all my notes about nosing and, and what I think about it, which ones I like, which ones I don't like on the nose. And then my second round is when I my start nose, tasting nose and go to taste and finish. I like to go through and taste everything and at least break it down probably to my top three and then I go to the nose for the tiebreaker on that because I mean people are going to taste it. One through five, I swear on my life, if James says five doesn't win one through five, he's an idiot. Five has complexity on the palate. It's thick, it's viscous. It's got some daggum classic vanilla notes, but honestly, it's got this kind of, this kind of butterscotch candy sort of kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, it's in the pocket of sweetness, but there's some complexity to it. Freaking great mouthfeel, good finish. It's the first one that I've hit that I haven't been like, this is like either astringent or super unique as far as like a lot of rye spice. Not unique, but it's the first one that hasn't punched me with rye or herbal notes. And uh, five is just, five is just freaking candy. And, and when it goes down your throat, it is still sweet. It is a sweet, sweet finish. Is it a good whiskey? Yes. Is it complex? No. There is a Sweet few. tea? Yeah. All right, so we're here at Four Roses. We're tasting through 10 samples, and Grease is doing the best he can to you know, try and learn from people who have done this before. But man, he, he has struggled busting it hard this morning, this afternoon. I, I, I don't think he's got it. And, and it's like, yeah, but it's, it's uh, it literally, it just feels like fireworks. In your mouth. So my thought process, you want to pick him whiskey or how bad Grease's palate is? 
Let's, let's start with how bad. How bad? Um, I don't think he knows what he's doing. I mean, truthfully, it, it, it it's like it's almost like teaching a kid how to ride a bike. He just keeps falling all over the place. So, hey, Mandy, if I give you if I give you three numbers with a couple of letters, could you just tell me how many of those I have right? No. Is number nine a B Mashville? No, number nine is not a B Mashville. All right, Who so, brought that guy? All right, hang on. I mean, so far the whiskey is awesome. Um, one through five for me are sweet. You know, some are sweet and a little bit spicy. Um, even had some herbal sweet, which I typically don't get on the herbal four roses. Number two for me is sweet tea. I mean, it's sitting on the porch drinking some sweet tea. Very good sample so far. I've only made it through six. So. Is five E Mashville. I'm really good at Five's in E Mashville. And yeast O. Oh. No. No. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. <laughs> I'm that madness champion. Hey, I am so glad. Grease sucks at guessing what recipes are. I mean, how in the hell is he Matt Madness champion? What are you talking about? I'm 50%. I, I mean, you haven't I, guessed one right yet. Yes, I did. I literally just did. Oh, God. Daggum freaking, daggum yeah. freaking James free, dropped his daggum Copenhagen in my number one. That should make, make it taste better. The it's the damn truth. truth. I should have chugged the daggum yellow label before I came in here just to get acclimated. There's a lot of good barrels here today. I think some of the ones that are out are good barrels. I think, I think, literally think that she rolled out an all-star selection for us today. My top two, I've got five and nine, and you've got nine's in my top two. I, got, I mean. Okay guys, you have three glasses in front of you. They are color coded with red, blue, and black. You get one vote and that's it. So whatever the consensus is, that's the barrel you're taking home. Blue's out. It is, it is like splitting atoms today. Black is number six. I would say red with nine. Red's number two. With number two and number nine is OESO. Oh, it's unanimous. Wait a minute.